strain them. So you wash it first, and you should be low on this. All right, welcome to another episode of Cooking With Comics. I'm Vince Ionelli from Ionelli's Famous Brick Oven Baker in Philadelphia. I'm your host and I have a special guest today. This is my good friend, Brett Ernst. You may have seen Brett on Weeds, uh, Cobra Kai, Vince Vaughn's Wild Wild West special. Don't worry about the credits. Don't worry about the credits. I'm gonna make a white clam sauce uh, in honor of Lent because, you know, we gotta eat fish on Fridays. Mm. Facts. But this is something I would, this is something quick. This isn't what I would serve on Christmas Eve, right? Because no. I'm using the canned clams, but this is something quick. Um, and again, it's one of my favorite dishes. Uh, I love white clams. First of all, tell me about your can opener, because you've all been right. bragging about this fucking thing. So this thing. can opener is an Edlin can opener. I got it like a year ago. I spent quite a bit of money for it, and my stepfather keeps telling me about like, you're out of your mind. We spent about 800 bucks for this can opener, but it's amazing, this thing. Yeah, but I'm, I, what? What's it do that no other? When we have to open up cans, I'm not over there like on the churning wheel. Before we used to have a manual can opener, I'm over there like. Okay, but you yeah. could, there's other electric can openers that aren't no, 800 this is, no, this, is this is a Cadillac can opener. <laughs> Let's see how it works. Is. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna open the can with the $800 can opener. Drain, we're gonna drain it, put the, ju the juice in here actually. This, by the way, this can opener goes into a safe at night, FYI. All right, let's see how this thing works. All right, put it on there. Watch, it's gonna go fast. Bean. Oh, we're gonna lower that speed? Yeah, lower Brett that. Wasn't, Brett wasn't ready for that. He wasn't ready for that. We got a little towel here. Holy shit. It's the first $800 can opener. Now you're gonna drain the juice like a gentleman. And this is how it's completed. You get the can, you look at it, you admire it, and then it goes in to the death spin. Boom. We got the clams in here. We got the juice here, which is gonna be our broth, and we have two of these as well. And let's uh, let's start sauteing garlic. We have a lot of garlic. You can never use too much garlic, in my well, opinion. This is true, especially at but night. Sometimes you get a couple vampires coming through the through the morning hours, mm. and you want to be prepared. You hit the heat up. Oh, you you put it on medium, right? Medium. That's like a medium. Push medium. All right. So you do a little bit of the olive oil. Make sure it heats up. That's how you saute with that. Me. Well, Throw a little more in there. Go ahead. Well, usually you just work it around. All right. All right. So you fry it up. Should. You don't want it to get uh, too brown. All right. Now when it starts to heat up a little, throw a little of this in there. Should we start getting the, the water ready for the yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Throw a little of that in there for the flavor. I mean, show our folks at home. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't know. Look at that. Keep it frying. Now, this is really, really simple. It cools so, it down a little. It's a little bit more than a tablespoon that he threw in. <laughs> <laughs> a little generous. You know me, I'm, I'm, a little generous. I don't measure, man. Do you nah, measure? I don't measure. So let this heat this up too. Don't complicate things. Now, simplicity is always best. Right so you put a little wine in there right now. Let it reduce. This cools it down. Throw some clams in there. Let it just soak it up a little. Worcestershire, come on. Throw in the Worcestershire. This is all. This is is it's fish on fish, but it's salt. I don't like it a lot. Couldn't tell you how much to use. Put the juice in, nice. You're all set. Uh, actually, since we only do well and I use one of these too. Of course. That should be plenty. And you're done. Let it let it simmer. Once we get really hot, like the pan's got to be hot, hot. Just over here. As soon as I start seeing a little bit of a color change, and then boom. Now obviously watch your hands, because you, these were just rinsed out with water. We'll get some of the cheese, because you like cheese. But I do it anyway. Huh? Cheese, all right. I'm gonna go with the fresh parsley, always. Now we'll go with a little bit of red pepper. Just a little bit. Okay. Gotta add that in there. A little bit of how you doing. Now. A little bit of how you been. This is the most simplest thing to make for the clams. Okay. What did I say? Set it and forget it? Yeah. Set it and forget it. Steam them, right? Boom. That's it. But I keep it on a high heat. Like that. How, how long? You just check it. You're gonna check it? Yeah. Probably like five minutes because it's a small pot. We don't know if it's enough. 
You know, I might have uh, Joey stopping by saying, what's cooking? How do you like your pasta? Uh, I like it al dente, but not as... Not as not as dente. Not as, right. He <laughs> likes it with a little bit of bite, but not like not like mush. You ever hear when they would throw it up against the wall and if it stuck, it meant it was done? If they would take the pasta, I'm serious, and throw it. Like the old old timers, it would stick to I the never wall. Heard, I never heard that. You story. never heard that before? Nah, I never heard that. Story. Yeah. Two more minutes. This is how I'm gonna plate this. is gonna look nice. Alright. But I make the bread. And what we need the bread for is the dip situation. Can, can I cut it? Absolutely. Let me try a little. Yeah, of course. And I always go from this way. You always got to. Oh, that, that's a little all you need. Oh, you know why? It doesn't cut you if you're going from the top. Okay. B. I always like to coat the dish first. Yeah. Always. Put a little juice at the bottom. Always. All right. Got the clams. You got everything smelling delicious. You got the homemade fettuccine from Ionelli's. You can find yours at ionellibakery.com. There you go, that's more me. Yeah, that is, 100%. <laughs> Just throw it on there. All right, beautiful fettuccine. And you, you can't be stingy with this. You gotta just really load it up. I mean, look at this, just smells phenomenal. Mean. <laughs> look at you. And again, you're not supposed to put cheese on fish, but I do it anyways. So we're gonna try it out now. Let's I'm see how it goes. It. I'm already eating. Yeah, he's already eating. <laughs> we like to eat. I am your host, Vince Ionelli from Ionelli's Famous Brick Oven Bakery and Cafe. And we're ready to eat. I got my boy Brad Ernst here. Fluent specifically for me. What a what a gentleman. Bro, come on. It's strong. <laughs> you like it? It's strong. Alright, let's all eat. Come on. Yeah, I'm Happy ready. Lent, people. Happy Lent. I could eat this shit all day, you know? There you go. Check that out. Get that on there.